Hey guys, have you ever had trouble with your USB before? You try to plug it in, it doesn't work. You flip it, it doesn't work. You flip it again and now it works and third time somehow always lucky. Let's talk about that today, shall we? About the USB. Welcome to episode 10 guys, today we are talking about USB, United States of Universal Serial Bus, Universal being key. There are three types of USB, there is A, B and C and also there is version 1, 2 and 3. What does this even mean? Jumping straight to the numbers, version 1 was the fastest USB back, back when it was launched and then there was USB 2 and then USB 3. USB 3 is the latest we have right now and it's the fastest. If you wondered what the blue color meant in your hard drive cable, that means it's USB 3. That's the fastest USB there is and it looks exactly the same for each version apart from the color that I just spoke about. But A, B and C are more about shapes. Of course, A, B and C also have power and speed limits, but they are more about the shape. This is what I've been wrong about all my life. USB-C is the fastest USB there is right now and the best feature about it is there is no right side. It works on both sides. This part we are all fine with. What I was wrong about is phones now have USB-C, right? So when my friends asked me, Josh, do you have a USB-C cable? I used to tell them that I'm still on USB-B. And that's what we are all wrong about. Uh, I was supposed to say USB-A. USB-A is this universal one that everyone knows about. It looks like this and that's that. So if you can have a USB-A that everyone can use and you can have faster versions, then why worry about having a type B and a type C at all, right? Here's why. When the USB-B came out, it looked like this, first of all. The fact that it has a trapezium shape helps you understand which way it goes in. The bigger side always goes down and the smaller side always went up. There was a super fast USB type B, but again, it was the same argument. The bigger one was down and the smaller one was up. And then USB-C came in, where you don't worry about which side's up, which side's down. It just always works. So if we replaced everything by USB-C, that means that just one cable will work anywhere. Between your computer and your phone, between the computer and the wall adapter, between the phone and the wall adapter, and it's always the same USB. So you can just carry one or two and it works for everyone. We don't really consider all that we do with USB, but actually there's a lot that we do. Me personally, I have this little light that works on USB. My Bluetooth speaker works on USB. The charger for my drone works on USB. The charger for my camera can work on USB. So essentially in a couple of years from now, if they just replaced everything by USB, that means one or two cables can suffice everything, right? And if you just visited someone and don't have your cable, you can just use theirs and carry your adapter with you which makes it so much more easier when you have forgotten things back at home. Me, for example, I'm using the OnePlus 5T phone. This has USB-C in it, but the wall adapter uses USB-A. That's defeating the point. The reason we had switched to USB-C is because it's faster, it has more power so it can charge faster, and I don't have to worry about which side's up. Then why worry about USB-A? That's the reality of our world. There's this inertia that companies don't want to adapt to anything too quick, and it just doesn't make sense. Speaking about inertia, Apple's computers now use USB-C. For once, Apple has done the practical thing. They've been known for having a new cable for each device, but now they use USB-C on their wall side and on their computer side. Thanks, Apple. The earlier computers used to have a Thunderbolt and a USB. Now it's just Thunderbolt C, USB-C, one or two ports or four ports, whatever, but they're all the same ports. Thunderbolt will work in the same port and USB-C will also work in the same port. Kudos to you, Apple, because you've understood something that everyone else has been missing. One of my favorite YouTubers, MKBHD, keeps saying that USB-C, all the thing. Which means every device that we have should now have USB-C, just so that our life mix becomes more easier. Coming back to the problem of third times lucky, if you have trouble with putting your USB type A into its port, then here's a trick. If you look at the device, the tongue always goes down in all horizontal ports. So before putting it into the horizontal port, look at the device, make sure the tongue is down and this way it will always fit in. If the port is vertical while the tongue is down, just turn it counterclockwise and put it in and it should work. This way you won't struggle with the right or the wrong side when you're still on USB-A. But don't worry, we'll be on USB-C soon. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think about the video. Take care of yourselves and keep learning.